If you play guitar as a hobby, this is what you should be focusing on your studies to improve in a more efficient and fun way. Watch closely because many great guitars learn that way, but nowadays people tend to overlook this strategy. You might be wasting your time on things that aren't that important, and in this video, I'm gonna show you why and what you should be doing instead. <laughs> What's up guys, Christopher here, welcome to the first episode of the series Guitar as a Hobby, where I share the best strategies to improve on the guitar without the need of studying many hours a day. There is a lot of guitar content on the internet, but not all of them will consider the reality of the people who play as a hobby. I've already given lessons to many guitarists and most of the people don't want to learn everything about the guitar and become a professional. If you want to just have a good time with your guitar and never find yourself stuck again, you've come to the right place. So, what should you be focusing on if you play guitar as a hobby? Nowadays, it's so easy to get lost watching all the videos we have available on the internet. There is so much interesting stuff that it's hard to choose what to study. However, nothing is more important than learning songs. This is what you should be focusing on and I'm gonna give you all the reasons for that. When I first started learning the guitar, all I did was learn song excerpts, either from friends who shared their knowledge or through opportunities to access tabs on their computers. This was before YouTube, there wasn't all this content available at that time. After developing my technique a little more, I was able to finally learn a full song. From there, I learned another one, then another one, and so on. My friends and I formed a cover band and started rehearsing. After a while, I took my first private guitar lessons for a few months and learned a bit about scales and harmony. The band and I composed our first songs and played some concerts. After that, I played with many bands, performed in several concerts, took private lessons, studied at a music school, enrolled in many online courses, and so on. But what I see people doing nowadays, it's very different. Talking to many of the students that I had over the years, I noticed a pattern. They usually start by trying to learn some songs. In most cases, this doesn't go so well, or they don't learn enough songs with a real accuracy. Then they start focusing on other things like exercises, scales, trying to improvise, usually sounds something like that. <laughs> Although they are studying and learning something, they don't see the improvement they'd like. They get stuck and feel lost. There's so much information that they don't even know which path they should follow. Is this happening to you right now? Leave a comment below. I'm gonna make it really clear for you. You should focus on learning the songs you like trying to sound as close as you can to the original recording. After having a substantial songs at least that you can play well, only then, if you wanna go further, should you study the other things necessary to reach the level you aspire to. Now I'm gonna explain to you exactly why you should be doing that. The main goal of learning how to play a musical instrument is to make music with it. And there are three ways you can do that. First, playing other people's songs. Second, playing a song that you composed. And third, improvising. There is no way of composing and improvising good music without having good technique, timing and musicality. And the best way to develop these things is by learning songs. You can practice dozens of exercises and delve into music theory, but only this 
won't make you compose and improvise well. On the other hand, if you learn dozens of songs, the chances of composing good music and with a little study of music theory being able to improvise well, it's way bigger. Learning songs prepares you to compose your own music and improvise. Besides that, it's a lot of fun. Playing along with our favorite songs makes us really happy. A few years ago, I had the opportunity to experience a sensation almost like the first time again, while taking some drums lessons. The song I was playing wasn't that difficult, and though I wasn't playing well, I was having a really good time. You don't need to take only my word on that. Learning songs was the approach for improvement and used by many great guitarists. If you watch some interviews, you're gonna hear them talking about how a certain record impacted their lives how great some riffs and solos are, and usually they are able to play those songs. Besides all of that, playing your favorite songs might be your main goal as a hobby guitarist, and that's totally okay, there is no need to aspire to something bigger. So, keep it very clear in your mind that you should focus on that right from the start. No need to learn exercises or music theory first, I'm gonna talk about that in another episode. There is only one thing you should do besides learning songs to really improve on the guitar. You're gonna spend only a second and you can do it right now. The thing is hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. <laughs> Jokes aside, this really helps me know that you are enjoying the content and that I am going to the right direction. So, go for it, I can't wait a little. Done? Nice. Maybe now you are thinking, right Christopher, I understand your point, but I've already tried learning my favorite songs and it didn't work. What should I do? In this situation, you're probably making one huge mistake. You're using an inefficient study method. And what I mean by study method is how you practice the song you are trying to learn. Most of the hobby guitarists just learn the notes and try to play, usually making a lot of mistakes and not paying attention to the aspects they should in order to really get better. Things such as how much pressure they are applying to hold the pick, the posture they are using in each part of the song, the best way to make expression techniques, and of course, there are many other things you need to pay attention to. If you aren't doing that, you definitely are not using good study methods. You need to search for something more efficient. If you'd like a step-by-step -step process to learn any song you like, I can help you with that. Send an email to the address in the video description and schedule a free one hour online private guitar lesson with me. I'm gonna see and hear you playing and give you the first steps you need to overcome your limitations. I hope you enjoyed this video and now you have a clear path to follow on your guitar studies. Every Wednesday I'm gonna be posting a new episode of the series Guitar as a Hobby, so hit the notification bell and until the next video. See ya!